Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapniewski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to take stuff off of your iPad or your iCloud and move it over to an external hard drive. And the reason that I'm doing this is, you know, now I'm paying $9.99 a month for iCloud storage. To me, that's an exorbitant amount. I didn't mind paying 99 cents a month when I hit 50 gig. And then when I went up to 250 gigs, then I was paying 2.99. I mean, even that I could stomach but 10 bucks a month is just a little too much. So what I've done is I've purchased a few things that are going to enable me to take stuff off of the cloud and the iPad, move it to an external hard drive. This way I pay a one-time fee and I have that two terabytes of storage, not on the cloud, but in my possession. Now to make this happen, the first thing that you're going to need is one of these guys. And this is an external hard drive. This is the Western Digital External Hard Drive. It's two terabytes and I paid $65 for this on Amazon. But this is not the only thing that you're going to need. And when I say the only thing you're going to need, I don't mean the USB dongle. These two things together, they're not gonna work. It's not going to happen. This is not a solid state drive. It's an external hard drive. There's going to be moving parts in this hard drive that have to move around to write your information on them. Simply put, there's not going to be enough power generated through this USB dongle to get this guy to work. So we're going to need another piece of hardware to get this to work. And it's not this, we're not gonna use this at all. And the other piece of hardware that you're going to need to get this to work is this guy. And this is the power. So I was reading the manual and this has a lot more things in it than I ever thought. So not only can we take stuff off of our iCloud and iPad and move it over to the external hard drive, but we can take things from here and put it onto the iPad. You can put SSD cards into here. You can put flash drives into here. I mean, this is incredible. This is its own little battery bank. So let's say you're on the road and you need a little juice for your phone or your iPad, you can plug it into here, you'll be good. It's also a portable wireless router. So let's say you're somewhere and their Wi-Fi goes down. As long as they have an ethernet cable, you're going to be able to get online. So the two of these things together was basically the total of what I'm going to pay for one year's worth of storage on the iCloud for two terabytes. And now it's mine. I own it. I don't have to pay a separate entity to store my older videos that I'm probably never going to even open up again, but I'm just keeping them for a just-in-case scenario. So when I initially tried to hook everything up, it didn't really work right away. So let me show you guys how I got it up and running and how I'm transferring all of my information onto this external hard drive. Maybe you can save some money as well. Oh, and by the way, you do not need the beta iOS 13 to get this to work. This can work with uh, your, your latest version of your iOS. Okay, so let's go ahead and power on this RAF power. And the power button is just right on the side. You hold it on until that little power button is illuminated. Then you just wanna hold it on and hold it down again until the Wi-Fi signal starts to flash. There you go. Attach our external hard drive to this. And you can see the port is just right there. We can plug it on in. You're going to need to download the RAV Power file app. Now what we wanna do is get this hooked up to our Wi-Fi. Go over to our settings, go over to Wi-Fi, and we just wait for it to pop up. And there it is. I'm just going to tap it. Now this, if this is the first time that you're attaching to it, you're going to be prompted to choose it. And then you have to input the very generic password. Now we're connected to it. So now what we wanna do is go over to where things are stored on our iPad. We are going to go over to this file folder. Now everything that is on our iPad being stored either directly on the iPad or, or on the iCloud, you're going to see it right here. So when you install the app onto your iPad, when you hit on my iPad, it's immediately going to show up there as its own file folder. Being that I wanna take things out of my iCloud drive and send it to this external hard drive is I went into my iCloud drive, I went to the file folder where I have things stored that I wanna move. So let me just go ahead and choose something to show you guys, something just really quick. What we wanna do is hit select. 
we choose the item that we want to select we choose move and this is going to bring us to this area so what we want to do now is hit on my ipad we are going to go to that RAV file hub and we're going to put it in the documents. Then we're going to hit copy and that's going to copy that particular file over onto the RAV file hub documents. Now what we want to do is go to the actual app for the RAV hub. So let's go ahead and pull up that app and it's going to detect the external hard drive. It's just going to take a moment. So it's showing there exactly what my hard disk is and how much space I have available. What I want to do now is go over to file management and this is going to show the different options that I have on this external hard drive. So I made my own little file called gear channel uh, you can always just make another file by hitting the plus button in the file choose the file name that you want to choose so now what I want to do is go to the iPad and this is going to show me where the documents are that I moved out of my iCloud and put into that file folder now I want to select something let's choose just this very short little thing here so I'll hit multi select and when you hit multi-select, you can move more than one at a time. So what I'll do is I'll pick a couple. And then I'm going to hit copy to. And now I'm going, see it says external storage. I'm going to put it in the file folder that I want to send it to. And now I'm going to hit paste. And that's going to send these two different things over and it's done. Transfer complete, that's how fast it was. Those were very short files. Let's go ahead and do some more. So what I'm going to do is choose a larger file this time. We'll choose the glitch effect one, and then we will choose copy to. Once again, I'll choose gear channel, and I'm going to hit paste. And that is going to begin to copy that particular video onto the external hard drive here. You know, depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is, is really going to determine how quickly all of this transferring is going to happen. So my Wi-Fi, I mean, uh, you guys, it's incredibly slow. It's super slow. My father came here with his phone one time and he's like, let me go ahead and test your Wi-Fi. I'm like, how are you gonna do that? He's like, oh, I'm gonna test the speed. I'm like, dad, you can do that? He's like, sure. It was like 15 megabytes a second. I think I'm saying that correctly. His in Florida, he has like all the newest boxes and everything. It's like 300 megabytes a second. That's how fast his internet is. So mine is just incredibly super slow and it's very frustrating. I just realized my hair light was off during that second take. <laughs> What do you do? And, and that's really how easy it is to get things out of your iCloud and get them onto this external hard drive so you don't have to pay these exorbitant storage fees to the iCloud. You could just buy your little setup there and it literally is going to cost you $110 if you're doing a two terabyte setup. You don't have to do that setup. You don't have to get one that's two terabytes. You can get something that's significantly smaller if you wanna save a little bit of money. The thing is, how much money are you looking to save because this external two terabyte drive like I said it cost me $65 I think the one terabyte was only 20 bucks less so for an extra $20 I got double the amount of space so you have to make a decision as to what your budget is and how much you want to spend but you don't have to get one of those crazy expensive solid-state drives to get this to work on your iPad you can get any external hard drive and get it to work on your iPad as long as you have that RAV power. It doesn't matter what external hard drive it is, it's going to work as long as you have the RAV power. That RAV power is going to be the key. So if you're going through the same thing I am, where you have all of these files that you need to back up and it just kills you to think that you're paying 10 bucks a month just to have it hanging up there in the cloud somewhere, this is going to be the best possible fix for you. Listen, I know it's expensive to come out of pocket 110 bucks and get this stuff all up front, but in the end, it's going to be very worth it and you have that forever you know no one can take it away from you you have it sitting on your shelf should you ever need to retrieve an old video 
or some footage that you have archived, it's right there. So I want to say again, I'm still only 18% deep into the transfer of this file onto the RAF power, but it's not its fault. It's my Wi-Fi's fault because my Wi-Fi is just incredibly slow. So if you have an incredibly slow Wi-Fi signal as well, this may take you a little bit of time to transfer everything out of your iCloud, but just be patient because it's going to be well worth it. I can't wait to get everything done this way tomorrow. I'm going to go right on my iCloud storage and downgrade back to the 99 cents a month. I only only want to do 50 gigabytes on the cloud. That's it. That's all I want to spend is a buck a month. That's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, wear your sunblock. Oh, did you just say it along with me this time? That was awesome.